My name is Caitlin Fitzgerald. I work with Good360 on the disaster recovery team. Good360 acts as a matchmaker between donors that have product to donate and nonprofits that can best utilize those products. In working with the nonprofits on the ground here in Panama City, we found out that there is a huge issue with many students who have been affected by Hurricane Michael leaving the area, leaving the schools with not enough students to keep them open. So as a result, there have been multiple schools that have shut down, teachers that have been moved to other schools or are out of a job completely, which has really affected the communities in this area. For this particular donation, we made it a huge collaborative effort and worked with Rooms to Go, High Socks for Hope, and the Bay Education Foundation to ensure that we are getting furniture, brand new furniture for teachers that have been affected by Hurricane Michael. When we first heard about Hurricane Michael, it was announced to our community as a tropical storm. And then even as a lower level hurricane at the beginning, by the time Tuesday had come around, we got to hear of the damage that the hurricane had caused in the, uh, in the south, and so we started to panic. We went and stayed with my dad. My dad lives around several trees, and so most of the storm, we just heard the trees constantly falling. At first, it wasn't so bad. You know, the wind was blowing, it was really raining, but um, about an hour into it, that's when the rain started coming off. And, sorry. <laughs> And they told me that uh, as the storm got bigger, they were hiding in, in the bathroom with a mattress over them. When we came home, um, one of the windows was completely blown in. Everything in that room was a total loss from the furniture, clothes, blankets, carpet, everything. What was unique about when Michael hit, it was the last hurricane, major hurricane that hit in 2018. By the time Michael hit, people were tired of giving to disaster. They had moved on to other things. It's in the news for a week or two, and then people forget that these families are living through this for years. I mean, we find families two years later sleeping on the floor, elderly people that are sick, sleeping on pallets on the floor. There is very little funding in this area for long-term recovery, so a lot of families are left without anywhere to stay, without anyone to come and help repair their homes, and without anyone to provide the furniture to go in those homes. But luckily, Good360 has stepped in and we are able to provide the goods that nonprofits and individuals have not able to get themselves due to that lack of funding. Through Good360, we're able to get donated goods. So with the things that they give us, we can supplement it and we can do so much more for the community. When we go into an area, we try to find out the people that are in need and then we vet them, make sure they're actually a storm victim and then we deliver the furniture and set it up for them. So when I got the phone call, we, we kind of celebrated in the car when I told them what was going on. It was so exciting. It was almost unbelievable and, and I, I could have never imagined the furniture that you guys have brought. It's so beautiful. This was a blessing to have the girls' mattresses up off the floor and to have a new bed and brand new pillows and just, it's, it's amazing. I just want to say a huge thank you to Rooms to Go. Um, not only did they cater their donations to fit each family's specific needs, they put together all of the chairs and they put everything and put people's names on it, sorted it out. It was the most amazing thing. And we're able to give them absolutely fabulous furniture. Since we've learned that she's getting a brand new bedroom set, she's just been... It's like Christmas. She's so excited. Having, like having her, her world put back together again since the hurricane, since she lost her entire room. And so it's just nice to see the excitement in her today. She was peeking out the window waiting for you guys to come. You know, that's what keeps me going. I see the children, how happy they are over a bed. You know, you expect children to be happy over toys or games. They're happy because they're going to be able to sleep in a new bed tonight. It's exciting to get home and just be able to go to your bed and like lay down or run up on. It's, it's exciting. I'm just so excited. It's amazing and it looks beautiful. 
Thank you so very much. We, again, we could have never imagined the amazing team that's come through for us, the beautiful furniture. This whole thing is just a blessing, and thank you so very much.